So this video is going to have two introductions, because the first introduction was before I found some amazing finds. But I don't really know they're amazing finds, so I look at them later and I think about them a bit. As you will see, there's amazing finds here. And you're going to see them, and you're going to see me going, oh, look, I found a little bit of this. Oh, look, I found a little bit of that. But I realised later, wow, those things are amazing. So what I learned from this is that when you metal detect, and when you go eyes only, you can find some incredible stuff. And just because you don't think it's amazing at the time, don't throw it away, keep it to one side. And then when you look at it later, you might find out that it's a really fabulous thing that you found and not realised at the time. So what I've learned is that when you treasure hunt, you can find stuff with your metal detector and think nothing of it. But when you go back and look at it closely, it's amazing stuff. And you can do that eyes only too, as I do in this video. Come along and see what I found. And don't be taken in by the fact I'm so blasé. Later on, I was hopping up and down going, amazing, amazing, amazing. This video is really a story about me running against the clock to try to get another video in for you. So I've got videos up to Christmas because after the weekend, I'm gone for 10 weeks. and won't be able to make any videos for you. So I've got to have a lot lined up and I don't want it to be rubbish. But anyway, back on my favorite field with this really, really small coil. So I'm going between the corn stubs and I just found that. And that's a part of Crotal Bell within a few moments from being away from a shiny shovel. But you know how that works. Lots of wind, noise probably. Sorry about that, very windy now. But anyway, must crack on. It's six o'clock, the sun's gonna be gone in two hours. So I gotta get busy now. That was a super sketchy signal, but that could have been a Roman coin. So I'm gonna have to pay close attention to everything super sketchy. I think this is a bit of a cheap old zinc buckle, could be wrong, but it's close enough to trash for me anyway. Well, that looks pretty Roman to me. It's very thin, red and lovely. Could be wrong, but that goes in the pocket. Oop, <laughs> and on the ground. And actually, look at that nice pattern on there. Now, whether that's a thumbprint, or a special pattern, I don't know, but it's really, really nice. Well, I think that's a giant bit of lead, but there seems to be some sort of pattern on it, and it could just be a munged up cystercis. No, it's a bit too thick for that. But it does look like it had a pattern on it. But, you know, it's just an illusion. In the pocket, anyway, it goes. Could be a coin fragment, so in the pocket it goes. Well, it's thing, but not much of a thing. It's got some sort of coating on it, so I'm going to put it in the pocket just in case it turns out to be a hidden treasure. It's a coin at last. Not a Roman, I don't think. I think it's a normal double tournoir, but let's have a look, it's in my hand in the dirt. So there's the dirt, and there's the coin. And it was given off a pretty low signal. It's gotta be said, it was given off a, a 70s. Now, I'm thinking that's got a decent pattern on it. It looks like it's got right across the middle, which is a bit weird. Oh, so I think this is a, an inflation money thing. So it'd be 8 million francs or something else, although it seems to say 1890 on it somehow. There you go, you have a look. I can't see it, but you have a look. Anyway, happy with that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to be. I think this is all I'm going to get. Hot spot. Well, two coins anyway, in a row. First coin's about seven foot that way, next coin's down here. I can see the imprint, looks very modern-ish, you know, i.e. after 1800. And there you are. That's what I can see, and there she blows. And that is, I think that's a dodgy fishy money, with two axes on it. I could be wrong, I could be completely wrong. Nope, I'm completely wrong. There's Marianne, 
it's sort of, I don't know, post-war maybe, pre-war, I don't know, not that old. I think I can read a four, no, 10 francs, 10 francs, inflation money, not silver or gold. Very, very sadly, indeed. Okay, this is definitely a coin. It's as sweet as a nut. Well, it's a big bit of chunky metal, whatever it is. Oh, there it is. Not a coin, a big piece of chunky metal for sure. Rubbish. I know, but I think this is my video made right here. It was a, I don't know, mixed signal, I guess you'd call it. Well, not surprising when you see it. It's a religious medallion. I should think it's highly likely to be silver. Well, probably low-grade silver, <laughs> probably copper. But I'm hoping that silver, it's got a sort of darkness to it, but it might just be silver-plated, of course. But anyway, I'm calling that a nice find until I get it back and find out it's a bit of a pull tab, but pretty sure it isn't. So, sun's going down pretty fast now, but I think I've got another 30 minutes, so I'm gonna crack on. Better. Button, I think. Pretty sure. I've just found this. That's a blue stone bead. And it's old because it's not central. It's just been unevenly drilled. Oh, that's very, very, very interesting. And I concentrate around here. Maybe that's off a Roman necklace. I mean, whatever it's off of, that's not going to be recent, is it? In the pocket that one goes. That's a lovely right there. Well, that's a bit of spoonage. At least it's a large piece of metal where I've been detecting, so that gives me hope for more Roman that I might have missed, because I shouldn't have missed that. Now, this is my excited face, <laughs> but I think it might be true with my disappointed face. Well, not so disappointed, because it can only be a 1600 coin, but it's in the mud. And it was right under a bit of um, cool, so I had to dig out the roots and everything again in it. But I got at it. So if it's going, sorry again, I can hear it blowing in my ears, but um, I'll see if I can shield you when we unwrap this pretty certain a coin. Could be a barnacles. Okay, there it is. You see that green edge there? And, ooh, that's somewhat unexpected. I think that's going to be a, a double turn wire, or similar. Yeah, it's not, it's too thin for being Roman, I should think. But it's also bronzy, which is unusual, because the double turn wires are normally copper, and they just get eaten alive by the soil. Don't rub the coin. Anyway, in the pocket it goes, not Roman, but what looks could be a nice coin. And the final find of the day, a little piece of shot. Nope. This is the final find of the day, and it's a modern coin made out of very light material. I don't know what it is. But it's aluminium, I think. Well, we'll buy the shiny shovel too, the car as I call it. And guess what? This is the last find. I think it's the top of a button, but it seems to have a pattern on it. And, 
well I think I think that's the shank but it might not be but anyway that is the final fun of the day and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna work around the end here because it's soft and now's the time to make the most of it and the Sun is going down and it's time for home